What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to allow connections to your local web server or FTP server from an outside network. So uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is actually enable the ports um, in our Windows firewall. Um, so what we need to do is go into the start menu and type in uh, firewall. Okay, and we can go to Windows Defender Firewall. All right, once we're in the Windows Defender Firewall, we're going to go to Advanced Settings, and this will open the Advanced Security Firewall. Um, what we want to do is create a new rule. Um, so we're actually going to create a inbound rule, and we're going to click on New Rule. And we're going to choose Port, and we're going to choose um, TCP, and set port 21. Um, we can actually also allow port 20 um, because 20 is often used for FTP as well, but we'll leave port 20 and 21 and uh, separated by a comma and hit next. And we want to allow the connection. And we can leave it on all networks and call this FTP TCP. All right, so now that's allowed in our uh, Windows Firewall. And um, I believe FTP is TCP only, but let's go ahead and create a UDP rule as well. So we'll go to port, um, it doesn't hurt. We'll say 20, 21, and then allow connection, all of them, and call this FTP UDP. All right. So now we have an inbound rule for FTP connections to connect to your uh, computer. We can also do outbound rules to allow connections moving outwards, um, which aren't as necessary because we can simply allow them on our end. Um, but if you have any trouble with uh, people accessing files through FTP, you can always do that as well and enable it that way. Um, but I believe we only need inbound rules um, in order to set the connection. The next thing we need to do is open up your router. And um, everyone's router is going to look different, but basically you need to get to your port forwarding. Um, on my router, that's called NAT and Gaming. And you can see that this is where we can create um, pass-throughs for services. So my laptop, I mean, my desktop is already here. Oh yeah, so desktop 3K5. So we'll choose desktop 3K5. And we're going to choose FTP. And most computers, or most routers, should have an FTP setting already. Um, but if we go to service details, if not, you can just see that this is TCP UDP 20 through 21, just like we set up before. Um, so we're gonna, what this is basically doing is saying all FTP connections that your router receives should go to this um, desktop. All right, so we can go ahead and hit add. And now you can see that TCP and UDP are forwarded to your computer. Now, there's two ways that people can connect to your computer. You can find out your IP address. So you're going to need this address. So when people type in that address, they can type in the address, type in port 21, and they'll be able to access your FTP server. Um, similarly, you can use port 80 instead of 20 or 21 to allow a web server through the same ports and allow um, your users to connect to your IP address as a web server. Now, the problem is many ISPs will change your IP on a regular basis. So if you give everyone one IP and then it changes a week later, nobody can connect again. So to get past that, we're going to use a service like no IP. Um, and the way this works, let's go ahead and sign up. I'm going to use an email, uh, password, and I'm going to type Mike the Tech and choose a extension. So I like this one. So now, oops.
anytime anyone goes to mikethetech.ddns.net, they'll be forwarded to my IP address. So uh, there's a free version, which has ads. Um, and then there's a paid version that gives you more domain choices and things like that. But we're just going to use the free version today. All right. So now we have uh, created an account. And uh, let me just activate it real quick. All right, so I've activated my account, and um, you'll see that there are three steps. One of them is already created. We created our host name, which is mikethetech.ddns. And then um, the step two is to download the update client. And we can download that, run the installer. And what this is basically going to do is um, check whatever your IP address is and send it to no IP so that whenever someone goes to that long text address, it'll actually go to um, your IP address. So let's log in with the information we just created. And you'll see that um, here is the DNS record we wanna update. And let's hit save. All right, so now we can see that our IP address is here and um, we're updating to that server. So now anytime anyone types in your actual web server address, they'll be able to go to um, or be forwarded to your IP address, whether that's a web server, whether that's an FTP server, it'll act just like if it were um, uh, a rented hosted web server. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I know this is a little bit complex and there could be a lot of um, differences in the steps. So I'm happy to try and help out in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. We also now have a join button. So you can now join our membership for $1.99 to get access to all of our live streams or $4.99 to get your name in your videos. Um, as a supporter. So in all of the videos that I release, you'll get your name at the end of the video as a supporter. Um, we also have uh, Stream Savers, which is now available for pre-order and the beta is now working. Stream Savers is a gotcha style um, RPG idle clicker game that lives in your um, live stream. So if you stream on Twitch, you can actually have uh, your audience interact with your characters on, on screen and even drop into the game themselves um, in PvP mode. So it's a pretty cool application and we recently got picked up by uh, Streamlabs OBS to release in their app store as well. So if you're a Prime member, you may actually get that for free soon. Uh, but yeah, thank you again for watching the video and um, do any and all of those things that I mentioned. Uh, yeah. Love you guys. Have a great one. Peace.